Total Energies has announced the final investment decision for the Grand Morgue development on offshore Block 58 in Suriname. The decision was made during a meeting in Paramaribo. The Grand Morgu project, named after the Sranan Tongo words for New Dawn and Goliath Grouper, will develop the Sapakara and Krabdagu oil discoveries, with estimated recoverable reserves of over 750 million barrels of oil. Located 150 kilometers off Suriname's coast, the project is expected to produce 220,000 barrels of oil per day via a floating production storage and offloading unit, with first oil anticipated in 2028. Total Energies, which operates Block 58 with a 50% interest alongside APA Corporation, estimates the total project investment at $10.5 billion. Stotsili, Suriname's national oil company, intends to exercise its option to acquire up to a 20% stake in the development by June 2025. The Grand Morgu FPSO unit is designed to minimize greenhouse gas emissions through several technologies, including an all-electric configuration with zero routine flaring and re-injection of associated gas into reservoirs. Other features include a waste heat recovery unit, optimized water cooling, and permanent methane detection systems. The project is also expected to boost Suriname's economy, with over $1 billion in local investments and the creation of more than 6,000 jobs. Paramaribo will serve as the main hub for administrative and logistical support. Local companies will be involved in various aspects of the project, such as logistics and well services. This landmark project marks the first offshore development in Suriname and is a major milestone for our deep offshore innovation. Look forward to working with Stotsili to deliver a transformative project for Suriname's economy that the represents the largest investment in Suriname's history and expects the project to have a lasting positive impact on the country's economy and living standards. The full project, expected to last five years with the first oil in 2028, represents the first major subsea development in Suriname, and it is aimed at expanding the production of the block central area through a system of subsea wells connected to a floating production, storage, and offloading vessel. SAPEM's scope of work entails the engineering, procurement, supply, construction, installation, pre-commissioning and assistance for the commissioning and startup of the subsea umbilicals, risers, and flowlines package. This includes of approximately 100-kilometer production flowlines, 90-kilometer water and gas injection lines, and the TNI of flexible risers, umbilicals, and associated structures, at water depths ranging from 100 to 1,100 meters. For the offshore campaign, taking place in 2027 and 2028, SAPEM will deploy a combination of SLA and JLA vessels, providing the optimal pipeline installation solution. In your opinion, will this project be the largest and most massive in Suriname? Will this project affect the entire economy of Suriname so that it becomes one of the major countries? Share your opinion with us in the comments. Write a review about new projects in Suriname. In the following video, we will show the 10 largest mega projects in Suriname. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. See you in the next video.